Thank you for watching, and remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support. We have a couple more inches of rain to go, and we've put the radar or the, uh, the forecast rainfall and the cone on here. So you can see that, yes, you're in that cone, Atlanta, uh, Macon, Columbia. You've got the chance of getting some gustier winds out of it. The circulation is probably going to go right overhead, but the biggest impact is going to be with the rain, you know, coming in two ways. It could be heavy and cause flooding. That's one concern. The other is I know a lot of you have outdoor plans this weekend, whether it's a Father's Day picnic or whether it's a graduation party. All afternoon, we are in the rain in Atlanta. And while while it might lighten up a little bit, it's really not going to stop until we get into your Sunday. Heavy rainfall actually could cause flooding and likely to do that all the way into the upstate of South Carolina. Greenville and Spartanburg watching your rain as well. Let me put this forecast radar into motion here so you can see who gets some of the heavy stuff. This goes right through this evening and the corridor of heaviest of rainfall cuts right across Alabama, northern Georgia into South Carolina. Then by tomorrow, this is about midnight tonight and tomorrow morning, North Georgia. You see how things are breaking up in middle Georgia. Um, but we'll watch for that all to push east. So South Carolina, we'll have a pretty soggy morning for you up into the upstate. The mountains of North Carolina will get some of this as well. And then we track this east. This is throughout the day on Sunday. Look at Raleigh in the Triangle area down into Savannah and Charleston, Myrtle Beach. We all get some of this tropical moisture. The system itself heads offshore and it could re-strengthen there over the Atlantic. And I also saw some flooding reports. So, you know, it was an outer band, actually, not, not this one. This one that actually sort of fizzled was the one one that went right into that area. This band has been the one that definitely is held together and has caused some of the biggest impacts. So we're watching that right now through the Pensacola area. It's almost east, and then once it does, you'll just be more of a showery regime. But we'll have to watch that band itself because it will be tracking east. And Destin, you'll get it. Panama City Beach, you will get it as well. But you can see in Pensacola and back towards Mobile, in general, we get some breaks. Not completely done because there'll be, still be some showery weather. And by Monday, Mobile, you know, we don't really lose this really tropical air mass that we have. So we're still in and out of showers and storms once we get into Monday. Let me track Destin and Panama City. Mention that band. It's not that far of a drive, from, what, you know, an hour, hour and a half from Pensacola to, Dust to Destin, but this is a slow moving band east. So it does take through the afternoon to get through there. We'll be watching Panama City by about six o'clock tonight. That comes on in maybe a little bit earlier. And then it becomes more showery in this area as well with, I think, more quick moving thunderstorms that come through, you know, in and out pretty quickly. Again, like I said about Mobile, same air. You know, we're not completely done on Monday. While Cloud Debt will be long gone, it'll be more about just, it'll be tropical, humid air that will have the potential to bring some showers and storms. It's about an inch. Some places will have about two inches of rain, depending if we get a lot of training from that outer band. A little farther north, it's more persistent stratiform rain. So that's where we have two to three inches of rain. And it might just be all rain with not a lot of thunder up here. Uh, it's just a kind of a cool, rainy day, um, which is the opposite of what Paul has. Paul, I'm sure yeah, it's yes. starting. Yeah, no, this uh, final chapter is not yet done um, while it's over land. It's got another life back in the Atlantic. But for now, it's all about tracking what's happening. This big outer band that's still in Pensacola, yes, it's taking its sweet time getting out, extends up through Florida into southern Alabama. So this is really, I think, the main event that we're watching in terms of the risk for any isolated spin-ups, the chance for severe weather winds in excess of 60 miles per hour. That tornado watch extends up through here for that very reason. This goes until 7 o'clock tonight. All right, so let me show you what's happening now. Now, this band we're watching moving east, slowly east, but it does have some eastward progression to it. Then it becomes much more showery across this whole area. So you're not completely done, but anything else won't be, you know, what you're feeling right now in Pensacola and up towards Milton in Florida. So we're going to be watching scattered showers overnight. Places like Mobile will get them. Tomorrow, some spotty thunderstorms are possible. Um, I think by Monday, hopefully, we'll start to see that surf come down a little bit. So if you're trying to get out to the beaches, you'll see that maybe down towards Orange Beach. But we'll still have an isolated chance of thunderstorms. Destin, this band is getting over to you, this outer band, as we get through the lunch hour and just beyond through the afternoon into the early evening. It's heading to Panama City. New, um, new stories that we have coming out of some of these outer bands. So this is it. I mean, this is the one that has the worst weather. This band that extends down from the Gulf of Mexico right through Pensacola. Justin has been in it all morning long, and now it's just north heading over towards Crestview. You can see once you get beyond that, there's a lack of lightning up here. It's really just plain old rain, which is what we've been seeing in places like Montgomery. So the rain shield, the cloud shield, all lifting very far north. We are going to be watching for that on rain on the increase in places like Burma.
Birmingham and Atlanta today. Likely to see that risk of severe weather, whether it's an isolated spin up or maybe some of the strongest winds for a little farther south. I think I 20 points southward. That red zone is the area that we're watching. We also have a risk of severe storms today. Been following storms this morning in Indiana. There'll be more today popping in the northeast too, where temperatures are heating up today. Upper 80s. The humidity is back. There could be severe weather sometime after five o'clock there and the excessive and dangerous heat continues another day across the West. All right, let's go back out to Justin We've Michaels. Some of those bands. In fact, it's one band really that is the main event at the moment, and that's the one that's in Pensacola. That is moving east. It's moving excruciatingly slowly east, but it is on the move. So I think eventually over towards Destin, we're going to be dealing with the impacts from this. But for now, it's all about Pensacola City, and just north of there, you are under a severe thunderstorm warning. Winds may be in excess of 60 miles per hour. It does include parts of I-10 and Highway 90. So heads up, travelers, if you can avoid travel. Traveling, you know, wait out another hour or so. I would do that because certainly this is going to be an area that not just has that risk for severe winds, but also really heavy rain because you're also under a flash flood warning. Paul mentioned that chance and the risk of isolated tornadoes. A tornado watch means just that there is that chance. This goes through the late morning hours into uh, well into the afternoon now, and we have a three uh, three out of ten chance here on our Torcon across this zone. Pensacola, Destin, Panama City, you're all in it, but all the way up to Dothan and Ever. Green in Alabama, you're also in that area that we are watching. And it's really those two main bands that we're keeping an eye on for those spin ups. It gets to Destin by uh, later on this afternoon, talked about that. And then we get into this more showery mode as we get into the overnight and through the day tomorrow. Things look better, you know, but as Paul mentioned, I have a feeling we're still going to be in double red flags tomorrow. So that's going to mean you're not swimming, you're still on the beach even when that sun comes back out. We've got a widespread, another one to two inches of rain to go all across this area.